Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm with Dave. We're off to the gym this morning. Good morning. <laughs> you know, normally we would already be coming home from the gym <laughs> at this time. But Charlie needed to be cuddled. He it's did. He's so cute. <laughs> so heading to the gym to do a workout. Um, this vlog is all about my one month post-op. So we're going to have updates on that and also just general life updates. I'm going to update you guys on some other things that have been going on in my life because I've had lots of questions about my work situation and whether or not I'm still working as a lawyer. So we can touch on all of that. This morning Dave is going to take me through a workout. He is so good at coming up with workouts. Yes, he is. So what are we doing today? We're gonna do some bodyweight legs for you. Bodyweight legs because I'm still not able to work my upper body. I'm, yeah, only able to do light cardio, my surgeon said, and then I can also do lower body workouts, um, which, yeah, really just leaves you with legs and glutes, right? Yeah, so that's what we'll be doing. I have my pre-workout today. Today I'm just having a coffee and I've put a little bit of cream in it, but normally I do like a, co a black coffee with a little bit of salt. So we'll head to the gym and we'll see you there and we'll take you through our lower body workout. because I'm home from been home from the gym for quite a while have just been working so I'm heading out to meet a friend for lunch and catch up with her and then it is my appointment with my surgeon for my one month post-op um, today at the gym it was the first time that I've done a workout like that and honestly my fitness level has gone down significantly since I last attempted to do anything like that I was so puffed and found things so hard but it also makes me quite excited just to get back to working out and everything when I'm able to it's one of the things that I will talk to my surgeon about and then when I'm home after all that we can do like a proper catch-up and I can talk to you guys about um, more detail about how everything's going and all of that kind of stuff so anyway let's head out have some lunch and then go see my surgeon.
been home for a little while after my surgeon's appointment, just working, but I wanted to catch up with you properly, so I thought I'd bring you in here and we can have a sit down and just a chit chat. I have my phone with me again because I asked for questions on Instagram, so things that people were wondering about uh, for my one month post-op. Got the questions here, I'll just bring them up so that I can make sure that I'm covering those. Okay, so the last time we talked, it had been one week, and honestly, I felt like, I just felt like I didn't really have a whole lot to share because I honestly felt so good. Someone's asked about sleeping. So if you remember in my first vlog, I came home and I had the pillows all up behind me. I'm now sleeping on two pillows stacked. I can lie like a little bit on my side, but it's not super comfortable. I'm not a back sleeper normally, but it is actually quite comfortable just to kind of sleep on my back and I sort of turn my head to the side and that seems to be working, but I'm not sleeping all the way upright and I never was. My surgeon never said just to like sleep upright. He said to sleep at what's comfortable for me and straight away after surgery, it does feel quite heavy on your chest. Not super heavy, but kind of just like someone's put like a textbook on your chest is a good way to sort of describe it. And sitting upright kind of takes that pressure off. I don't feel any pressure now whatsoever. Has this impacted my self-esteem and do I feel better about myself. I definitely feel more comfortable and more confident wearing certain styles of clothing, but it, I don't feel like I'm any different. I feel like I'm just the same. The only thing that I don't have to think about is wearing two bras and stuffing my bras with chicken fillets or padding or anything like that. That's the only thing that I don't have to worry about. And I will still put on clothing and be genuinely surprised that this is my shape now because it's like balanced out my frame so much. I said that one of the reasons why I wanted to get the surgery done was because I've always been really self-conscious of my lower half of my body and that hasn't changed because of the surgery. It hasn't taken away the perception that I have of myself. It's something that I still have to work on and remind myself, you know, to be confident, to embrace my body, to love my body. It's something that you just have to like actively remind yourself all the time and that's fine. That's just like, you know, what we do because we're our own worst critics. So we need to actively be our own best and most supportive cheerleaders too. So. It hasn't changed my self-esteem. It just, like I said, makes me feel more comfortable and more confident wearing certain styles of clothing. I asked my surgeon whether or not I should do breast massage because I'd read online that some surgeons like teach you how to massage your boobs to soften them. Today in my appointment with my surgeon, he's so happy with how soft they are. So my boobs are like in the place that they're going to be now. They've already dropped and fluffed. That happened really quickly, <laughs> which is awesome because you also like after surgery, you don't want to be walking around with your boobs up here feeling like they're really pointy and really like heavy and hard. Mine just feel normal and they're squishy and they just feel like normal boobs now. I am so happy with my size. I said that my surgeon gave me a couple of options for size and originally I picked the 400cc. I left that appointment and then I was like, I actually want the 450cc. They just feel like me and they like fit my frame. Part of that is your surgeon though, making sure that your surgeon is working with your natural shape, your natural size, and he or she has the same outcome in mind that you want, which is like a natural look. I really wanted it to look natural. Why I picked the surgeon that I picked, who was Dr. Howard Klein. He's amazing if you're looking for a surgeon in New Zealand. He's so great. So I'm so happy that I picked this size and I'm really glad that I went a bit bigger. Oh, someone's asked whether or not I have any regret at all if I look in the mirror and feel weird, shocked, or sad. No. I honestly, I'm so happy that I did it and part of me wonders like why I took so long to make this decision. Everyone has to make this decision or decisions like this that are huge in your own time and everything kind of aligned that this was the right time for me to do this. I'm honestly really happy. And when I look in the mirror, I am not shocked or feel weird. What's weird actually is that they feel like my boobs. I thought that once I got these 
implants in, I'd be like, you know, there's me and then there's implants. But these just feel like they're my boobs. They feel like they were always supposed to be there and that they've always been there. And they did as soon as I came home after my surgery. As soon as I looked under the sheet and I saw them, I was like, they are my boobs. <laughs> and I still get emotional thinking about that because that moment for me was uh, relief. Like I actually felt relieved. So yeah, very happy, very, very happy. I've cried before on videos and I'm not going to do it again. The last question I'm going to answer is what I have been wearing post-op. So I will show you. Take off my top. It's just a bit cold. Okay, I am back. This is what I've been wearing post-op. Um, this is actually a seamless crop from Glassons. And I found them, before I found these, I was just wearing tank tops. Because my boobs don't actually need anything to hold them in place like they're just gonna stay in place so it's really exciting but yeah this is what I have been wearing I'm not sure if I have done a side-by-side -side comparison so that you can see what I looked pre-surgery and also post-surgery so I'll insert it here to show you what I was like pre-op and now four weeks post-op I'm really happy with how everything is going. I have no complaints at all. And I'll do another vlog in two weeks time sharing what's happening at six weeks because today my surgeon cleared me to go back to doing more intense cardio so I can do spin, which is exciting, provided that I put no weight over my on my chest. So I can't lean forward on the bike, I need to like keep it pretty light. So I'll try to get into a spin class at the moment we're in level two where I live in New Zealand in Christchurch and what that means is there's basically like a 50% occupancy for any gym classes so there's not as many bikes available at the gym that I'm currently a member of which is annoying so I'm gonna go on like a standby list tomorrow morning and see how I go um, but yeah so anyway I'm gonna be doing spin more body weight exercises like you saw I did this morning and more cardio as well until week six and at week six my surgeon said that I should be fingers crossed all cleared to be able to return back to normal activity again and for me that was F45 and today doing the workout that I did showed me just how bad my fitness level is it has totally bottomed out which is okay because I've started again before I can restart again so I'm going to be starting completely again with modifications and I want to share that journey so that's what will be happening at six weeks and at the six week recovery vlog update and finally one last thing before I sign off is a quick life update I've had a couple messages that came through on the Q&A asking if I was still working as a lawyer and I'm currently not a lawyer I um have taken a break because I'm working on some really exciting projects that I'm going to be announcing and talking more about in a couple of months time and it just requires my full attention. So the days are really busy, it's really exciting, there's a lot to do and I'm really thankful that my recovery has been as quick and as straightforward as it has been to allow me just to kind of get back to work as quickly as I can. So that's my little life update. I do have the opportunity to return back to law. So that's something that later this year I'll be able to do, which is also really exciting. Anyway, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated anyway, but I know you guys aren't actually here for that life update. You're here for this update. And on that note, everything's going really well. And thank you so much to everyone who has sent me kind wishes and kind, kind words to me about my recovery and my choice to do this. Honestly, means it means so much. And I'm so thankful to be part of such an encouraging and supportive community. Um, yeah, honestly, like I just don't have the words to, to say thank you enough. I really appreciate it. 
I know that we're all making choices to be our best self and live our best life. And it's so cool that we can support each other in the choices that we're making because we just want each other to be our happiest, healthiest self. Um, I'm going to sign off there and end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe because I upload new videos every single week sharing keto recipes and also my journey following an active lifestyle. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and honestly, the support means so much. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.